So I have a question for you. Yes. Um, and I wonder if you could unpack the idea of creativity in its various manifestations, its various forms in raga music. Yeah, so uh, we very commonly use a term mm. that's uh, upaj. Mm. Upaj literally means upajata, means something is there from that you have the second level of creation. Mm. So I think that works very well with this mm. uh, question because uh, in our case, a musician, let us see first, uh, let us uh, look at something that, like uh, what are that? Because it's after all, the brain is working in, in, to create something, so oh. the music. Oh. <clears throat> so brain must be having uh, the tools to create. Yeah. 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 So, so uh, you must be having uh, the assimilated information tools from the tradition. Mm. So that is through training and thinking and mm. practicing. Mm. So first point to be achieved for creativity is that uh, when while performing, you should not search for the tools. Mm. Mm. Because if you, if you have to focus on how your right hand will move, your left hand will move, mm -hmm. um, then you're finished. I mean, then mm. there can't be any creativity. Or oh, this, I shall play this note after these. Mm. <coughs> or, or Raga plays, uh, for example, in, in Bihar, mm. you know, Ray is not allowed in the ascending. All these kind of questions are there on the wild performance. Then mm. it is very difficult to be creative. It is almost impossible. Mm. So you have this kind of information ingrained in your system. Naturally, mm. you can... At any point of time, you can um, uh, sing or play that rap. Mm. The first thing. Second is that you have uh, potential tools with you. You know, there are four dimensions, basic four dimensions. That's also true for Western mm. music. Mm. So you know how to use the notes. You know the uchars. <coughs> you know how to play with the rhythms mm. and, and the lay and uh, uh, you know that what kind of ambience you are about to create. Mm. Because Malkons will not create an ambience like Dalbari Kangra mm -hmm. mm. or Bihar. Mm. So ambience will be. So I call uh, a Raghu as an audio personality. That is mm. my interpretation of Raghu. So in, when we are thinking of creativity, what will happen? In my case, I can tell you that I shall take the sita, tune it well, because you must give your brain the right ambience, right environment to be creative. Mm. So the tuning is the most important point here. You have your sita should should sound well. Others, mm. what will, mm. what will, what will you make make sing? Mm. Then you, you strum the instrument, shikari, juri, whatever. Mm. And you already decided that you will play that raga. Mm. So supposing you plan to play Puriya Kaldan, mm. then you have restricted yourself to Puriya Kaldan, right? So when you restricted yourself to Puriya Kaldan, then there will be a separate, say one or two million ideas mm. will be ready for that, you know? to be taken any one of them. So you strum your sitar and, and you have, main thing is we have templates. So, and templates, again, that is, you know, not fixed templates. You can, oh, you yes. can yeah. rearrange those templates and yeah. 101 things. Sure. So uh, we know that we have to first establish sa. So we have some restrictions. So within the restriction, then when you have to reach sa, ending note will be sa then you have 11 other notes mm. or maybe the same note mm. where you can start. Mm. Then you have a third restriction that first phrase will not, be, will not take a larger periphery, the, the, the periphery will be smaller. Mm. So that won't be a seven note design. Mm. Mm. So you have certain uh, restrictions mm. and that is you know, naturally ingrained on us, assimilated by us. Mm. Even then, to reach Sa, 
Kudiakal then, for example, will strum the instrument very nicely, tune the instrument, and wait mm. Mm. to help generate the first idea, debut idea. Mm. Mm. So that can be only sa. Mm. That can be <coughs> me. A long silence, so me sa. Mm. That can be. Nidhasa or anything, mm. Madhasa, Madhapasa, mm. Dhani Resa, Dharesa, Resa, whatever. Mm. Mm. So when that first design, whatever design you choose to, I mean, you naturally choose to play, I would say. You don't plan that I shall start from Tibra Madhama and do something. Or like that, you plan that we sh I shall do something else. And we shall not start from Sa, but start from Pa. That Vilav Khansa did in, in very good recording. And I also did it in some places. That automatically came that way, right? So, ra, 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 ri, first one. It's, it's not natural. But we don't command ourselves like that. We said that no, we have to start with Pa, with the, make the trick. No. So, it has to come naturally. Then when first idea arrives, then and again you wait. Then there will be many, many options that what can be the next one. What will the upaj of that? Yeah. So re, re, na, re, 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 na, re, na, re, re, billions of options so each one you know I'm, I'm, I'm singing and and then I'm listening because our performances are not based on hands it's, it's the main point is ears you know we play with our ears and yeah. brain of course primarily yeah. brain exactly so so we have all the information because I have a person learned with a good guru and uh, the, got the information and assimilated that, practiced that, mastered that, then you have to forget that. Yeah, for sure. And just, you know, it's wonderful to, to detail these processes, as you say, you know, there is a, you're talking about a creative process. But if we zoom back and think about in a more abstract way, in a more philosophical way about this concept of creativity, we start to engage with the question, what is musical reality? What is reality? And when we do that, we bring in what we call ontological uh, perspective into this. So you mentioned, I'm trying to look at the connection between creativity and the, the rough analog translation of upaj as, as maybe a way of align, it, aligning uh, it. But, <clears throat> but so the, the idea that, you know, you say, you know, we talk about um, what you learn from your guru, the, the conventions that you hear around you, this is part of the, the musical reality that you find yourself in. But then when we talk about, we use terms like notes, then we're talking about which type of you know ontology we, we we're talking about because then we get into this um, idea that say in, you mentioned western music you know the, the ideas of creativity in western music for sure and they're complex and they have a whole genealogy behind them but we're not really talking about the same things the basic ingredients like a note in in western music western musicology from the 19th century is about a discrete point in Don't which have, you can notate. Oh yeah. Whereas a swa but before that in Western music, a note was something it was, it was had much more meaning than that. A note could be a tolerance, a bandwidth, it can, a note could be a representation of a planetary position. Oh, yeah, yeah. All, all these things. It can be a, a type of flavour. So mm -hmm. all, all these mm -hmm. things. So, mm -hmm. so when we 
creativity is used as a term so much these days in advertising and accounting. You know, it, it's it's mm. almost abused in a sense <clears throat> like this. So when it's used in music, then as you say, um, we're not just using, we're not just looking at the end result. But, but this is what Upaj is saying. But then. Connect. Yeah, the, yeah, the next one, that's one more. But yeah, if you go more. back to Saranga Dev and things, when they say, you know, where does, where does sound come from? You know, the, the explanation is that sound starts with the desire. Yes. To prehear it. And that desire mixes with the emotions. Mm -hmm. So then you feel that sound, which then mixes with the breath. And then there's an that impact. That is a way of. Then there's it. an impact. Mm -hmm. So this is one philosophy. I mean, it, it, yeah. there's so many ways of thinking about it. But. Um, but the thing is that there's the, the, the last thing that what you actually hear is, is the fourth part. Yeah, maybe, maybe. And, yeah. and, and a lot of things happen in between. In between. And, and philosophically speaking, it's what happens in between, you know, before the sound is made. It's, is that where the create, is that where the upaj is there? Is that creativity there? You know, should we be looking at that? Number one, and this is a long winded question, but then the other thing is this, how do you talk about upaj and space when and how you engage with different types of space yeah but what I think uh, my way of course mm. um, firstly you know what we understand at I understand as uh, the creativity getting flowed I mean uh, your, your creativity is flowing then the situation is that I'm not playing yeah. That is that is that, that is my technique, also taught by my teacher uh, Pandit Bhimbrindu Mukherjee. Uh -huh. That I am not playing because I I, I took the information knowledge I assimilated mm -hmm. then then I am just a medium mm -hmm. to to make it happen right mm -hmm. and and when I was taught you know then I I I I, I mean and, and when I actually play myself when when I start you know starting to grab the command over the thing then. I, I shall be knowing that uh, a note has several positions, not like in a chromatic scale or, or midi scale or uh, as the Western, they have different different types of thing. And this, there are some uh, books say, I mean, older researchers, this this is how many sevals different, saturi and red. These are all, uh, I mean, we don't have, we have a dynamic notes. Mm -hmm. Our notes are dynamic. Like a bandwidth, would you say? That's yeah, bandwidth is yeah within within the within the bandwidth. But but but, a, a, but I mean not about saga pali maybe, but the other mm -hmm. notes. Mm -hmm. Even ga. Nikhil said that Bihar's ka will be sharper than Yamar's ka. That's what mm -hmm. Nikhil Manji uh, told me. Mm -hmm. And when and the other person might say the opposite that Yamar's ganda will be slightly sharper than Bihar's ganda. But to my understanding. A musician <laughs> don't mm. initially decide that I shall play sharper gandha than bihag or when I play whatever. Mm. They don't do that. It comes naturally and whatever happens. And in the ascending, maybe in the ascending it will take some, some other frequency position. In the descending the, there will be some other frequency position. Mm. When you are trying to, you know, it's all depiction of feeling. It's not the notes. Notes are just the, you know, it's a very gross statement, you know. Yeah. Notes are there, but this is a very grossly positioned. We don't have that kind of, we have a spectrum, as you said, a periphery of a note. So it will depend on how the design flows. And it will, it may change because it is dynamic. It can change this, slightly change its positions. This is one thing. Mm. Second is when the objective is to open up a note then a note can get a different voice with one thing I already to told that about the space it gives in between and the starting point mm. and a starting point of to reach a note can be almost any point mm. Mm. so this is I think I don't know about other cultures but this is I think I would say special character of our music that uh, uh, where you're, you decide that this kind of impact you wish to create on Nishad and your, your brain automatic signal that you start from here mm. and that may be between Dha and Pa, mm. some point. Yeah. 
and then you want more rounder sound or more you know what do you say sound with gravity mm. then maybe you go to pa mm. if you go make it slightly soft you have been brighter mm. you may start from around me may not mm. be me mm. that we just discussed in you know, a few in this back so our notes are different i mean it's dynamic mm. also the starting points can be any point yeah, yeah. so but the, it has even wider uh, range that's from where you can start so so then i mean i, I agree that the, the notes become dynamic and i think you know different cultures and different traditions have different ways of i think in japanese music in shakuhachi music mm. this is taken to an nth degree you know the sophistication in this is is mind blowing but again what i'm going to say is how does it again affect upaj and creativity this idea of bandwidth and and like this is sort of micro level of creativity this is a type of creativity you know is there a larger structural creativity that you're talking about you talked about the process being created no you see you can you can you can think i'm i'm talking about my ways because i'm a musician i don't have mm-hmm. but i haven't read a lot of books and i'm not influenced by any book you know whatever i'm talking yeah. are all my own experiences uh-huh. and i'm not influenced by others because you know my my nature you know how i uh, work mm. so one thing is as i told you earlier that there are uh, traditional prescriptions boundaries limitations mm. so we have some traditional limitations but even then within that limitations there are a lot of freedom give this space yeah as one thing is the template mm. you can you can start the template the right place and in earlier don't complete the template that's fine mm. okay then you start the template right there. usually we don't don't change the starting part of the template mm. and then when we can skip one or two points because if it, it is a 13 point template it depends on what is that in in an alab it can be 13 point or 12 point template or 7 point template or 5 point or 3 points whatever mm-hmm. so you can say, say it is very simple alab jodi hala Mm. for example you mm. can choose the jala say jor may have depends in you know, the 10 or 7 or 12 whatever you, you, you take gross you take and say you have alap also has lot of things you know alap let us start with alap mm. first the alap has four, there are four types possible mm. four types of alap you already know it so i'm not uh, amplifying on that uh then it will depend what if it is outside alap mm. it can go reverse sa ni do pa ma ga re sa ni do pa ni ni da ha but it never happens but it just came to me because mm. i wanted to Exactly. Would be for <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Almost never did. Ravi Shankar did this low to high, but yeah, it is yeah. was possible, also possible. Yeah. Or sa pa sa pa sa pa sa ni de ga ga na di. What is there? Everything yeah. is correct. Yeah, yeah. For Bilal Khan, everything is correct. Yeah. A person like him, mm-hmm. supposing he by chance some note comes, you know, which is not. can not be done in the rag and so mm. happens yeah. they start playing with that note and make that happen the okay in the rag this goes fine yeah 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 so that kind of come on you know you mm. you make grammar sindhi ravi shankar ji also did grammar the, oh the rag should go this way mm. so if some the musician you know, so musician has if the musician is good enough you know it's a good power he can do anything mm. so it's not necessarily that without breaking tradition this is not of breaking tradition because the effect with the traditional what is tradition you yeah. understand that this is tradition yeah yeah simple yeah. so when they will play you will say okay this is traditional this is not breaking the tradition yeah so so that to so make a, you believe that exactly and so that this is the element you this is different types of flow yeah so so this is a, a creative process This is, of course, because if I I get three four examples, yeah. those are possibly never happened in history. I never listened to it like that. Mm. Starting from high note and ending on lower note, mm. 
I never happen to start something like that. But now I feel that it can, you can do that. Yeah. This to, today, which is a date, whatever the date is, with the third of uh, this say, I, I have been doing Sita yeah. for 60, more than 60 years. Yeah. The first time it came to my mind and I did, this is Upas. Yeah, yeah. This is creativity, right? Yeah, yeah. And the fact that there's a flow that, that can start you start the flow in a certain way, but then because of the things that you're absorbed, you know how then to direct that flow. Ah, that command you must be having, yes. You can, you can, you can uh, drive the flow, direct the flow. If you are blocked, you will know a different way, different pathways, mm. that how, how that can be diverted. And you will know because now uh, I know that which will make it a good design, which will not. What, what which not? It's very complicated. It so, took many many years. So is this creativity too? The, the, knowing creativity. If, if, if something gets created, that's the creativity. So, <laughs> it, so is is a creativity as a noun? This is something that's created. It, it's and being a cr creative with something is like a the, the verb you know it's a, the doing the creativity and then some creativity as a as a product you know as a upaj itself it's well, it, upaj definitely upaj definitely all are in my case but all are upaj but but this bistar as well bistar is that also a creative term do you think the flow bistar is enlargement you know amplification bistar is that so you can memorize because earlier, I, earlier we had Bandhanala, uh -huh. Bandhi. You know, Kasab used to play uh -huh. all the Bandhi Vistas. And so, and there are, even today there are musicians, those, those musicians uh -huh. opt for that. So uh, even, if, even in Bandhi, you know, uh, uh -huh. if, if we're playing the same, pre-composed, pre-composed uh -huh. also can be creative actually. If you think deeper, yeah, yeah, yeah. because as I gave you the example, that's the first lesson. So interpretation. So, so, so interpretation. So it becomes creative. This is the first one. Exactly. So, uh, uh, once the musician becomes powerful, I mean, mm. uh, uh, gets the ability to think, design, mm. plan, I would say, and can just, you know, can see a little bit of future. Oh. You have to be able to see a little bit of future, you know, mm. immediate future. So you are, say, playing a, a, an ala mm. for 10 minutes mm. or one hour, whatever, mm. at Seven minutes, twenty-three seconds. You should be able to see seven minutes, thirty seconds. You know, for the other four seconds, what you will go do the next one. So that gets designed and you play. So that can be yeah. supposing a design comes and you say, "Let us do it slightly this," and then you you know you put yeah. a different lipstick for on a girl's face. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you can use the word "see," but can you also use the word "feel," which then puts it in a different part of the body, doesn't it? You know, is that part of the creativity? I'm, this is why I'm trying to get beyond just the, the external things that you can measure, but then the, how the body and how we talked about, you know, the internal things, that mixing the, the pre-hearing of the sound, which is what you're saying of, of imagining what can be in the future, yeah. but, then, but then combining it with the feeling of that and how you're going to express your feelings, you know? Are you going to get angry with it or are you going to, are you going to be melancholic? You know? and so at what level does that come into it? That, that, that yeah, yeah. You see, it's very difficult to verbally explain this. Exactly. Because number one, yeah. that uh, music doesn't have words. Because that is why I told you that I don't accept vocal music as a music. Because this has an additional I mean, component. Mm. That is the lyrics and all. So, you take, we take, I take instrumental music as music, okay. Then uh, it is kind of, it is very difficult to, because I ha we have to derive symbols for that. Mm. So that is not derived as yet. That this kind of, when 
it creates this kind of effect. We don't know what. Mm. We do it because mita is, is sweet. Mm. Uh, I don't know how something can be sweet. I mean, this is, uh, you know, connecting a feeling with sweetness, connecting mm -hmm. a, a feeling with this different kind of mm. day to day experience that is very common in any field. Mm. So, the level we are talking, where we are talking, we require to derive lots of new symbols so that we can communicate. And, and like, you know, the words for internal emotions, you know, there's, on one hand, you had the whole Rasa theory area, but then in common language in, in uh, Hindustani music, you had words like Tasib, Mizaz, which are words which are borrowed from. Yeah, 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 yeah. As yeah. well. So, so, you know. Rasa theory, you know, I don't know whether I should talk on this or not. I already told you that Rasa theory, Rasa, or whatever this nine rasas or whatever you have, you must be having, this can be expressed to either verbal or verbal or visual expressions. Mm. Otherwise, what happens in the drama, is what has started it, you know, mm -hmm. in, in the drama, that person used or that, yes, what is it, yes, uh, yeah, this thing, uh, what do you say, this clan, it's not a person, it's a mm. clan, mm. Uh, used certain music for certain drama pieces and they connect music with the rasa. That's yeah. it. Yeah. But I think ra connecting raga with rasa may not be correct. Yeah. yeah. That is my because supposing you are, play, you are playing Malkos and Malkos is, has been attributed as, as a big rasa rag, yeah. but you, you are the, how this can be big rasa. Mm -hmm. This is Shantaras, you know, you, you are, you are, this is peaceful. Yeah. But when rah, 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 then that can be Vida. So it depends on the musician and the components you are using. Exactly. But they all speak about effect. And I, I agree with you. Yeah, there, yeah. There's so many rasas that don't, yeah, that don't, don't rasas. apply to music. Like, no, no. like Bianca, 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 you know, <laughs> Crowd, you know, I mean, maybe you know, people feel that if, if they don't like the music. but um, but. I agree, but it, it, it don't, doesn't connect with music. Rasa doesn't connect with music. No. But then, raga, if it's the music, you can connect, yeah. but not with raga. But there's, raga. A, but there's a flavor, there's an emotional flavor in music, which you say, that, that comes out, as you said. Mm. Mm. Like, what, like with food, you know, the, the food, we can look at food in terms of a dietitian. It's this, so much enzymes, this protein, carbohydrate, and things. But ultimately, the the internal experience is, is one of taste, which is you can't measure it per se. And is is there something with music that there's an emotion? You want flavor? metaphors, metaphors for for the feelings, for the metaphor feel for the emotion. And yeah, I it, think I think Adrian, we can we can do it. You know, actually, you have to use. <laughs> I, I'm a, yeah. on the quantitative side. You have yeah. to get the data from hundreds of people and say that how they feel about certain piece that you are feeling sad whether the rest you know uh, uh, most of the people are feeling like that yeah. but, is, but is that possible because sometimes you can listen to music one day and feel this way and then you can listen to the same piece the next day so, and so, feel, so, feel different so, too yeah so so it's not dependent exact fully dependent on the type of music so, your your mental status yeah so you can't attribute you know certain experience directly you know all the time most mm. of the time may be correct so if that is correct for most of the time it's fine mm. so it is but we have to i think this is time that we have to try to derive symbols you, you create symbols and yeah. connect them and, and uh, if if most of the people many people accept that that acceptable symbols then we can have a third language or whatever 11 1 million language <laughs> but, but yeah we could but I'm wondering, the reason I'm asking this, because I'm looking at the creativity is also at this level, playing with flavors. Like a good chef will know, can pre-taste how flavors will go together. They're not concerned if there's, you know, how much carbohydrate or how much yeah, yeah, yeah. fat is there or enzymes or whatever. But it's, it's imagining the, the, the affect. And affect so, is the right word, yeah. And so then... In music, I'm looking at back to the original question of creativity, how much are you playing not just with the, you know, the, the, the patterns, but you're playing 
you're improvising on effect. We 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 completely. I if you take me, if you ask me, my uh, way of working is, of course, I can't say how. On what kind of effect, but it's mm. totally dependent on, as I told you, mm. uh, or primarily on the energy level. You yeah. know, yeah, energy level. So, uh, and uh, energy uh, level will uh, directly connect with shant to vigorousness. You know, mm. so peace, peace to vigorousness. And in between, mm. in the creation, we have <sighs> musical terms. You have you have mass and energy. What else? Mm. Uh, you have psychological states. You have things which are much more intangible too. Don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and you could, you could much have more a, intense. Intense is more energy. Yeah, and you could have a pain in your shoulder that day that makes you, makes you hit a note in a certain way, or or you know you could have a, a because of pollution a, a different breathing pat as well. So breath is there as well, no. Well, I mean, generally speaking, that uh, generally speaking, we we consider in, in the substance and the energy. This is general general, general parlance. Okay. Yeah. Substance of the for for any manifestation, you have to be there will be primary energy play. Mm -hmm. And what is when there is there are some energy; those are not cannot be felt, mm -hmm. and some energies can be felt. Mm -hmm. That's it. And when when, some, when, you, when you feel energy means energy is getting applied on mass. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What I understand. Mm -hmm. So energy is there you know, all over the universe, everywhere energy is there. Totally. But either they are, uh, what do you say, um, um, they are prominent, you, you mm -hmm. understand that there is energy. Sometimes you are, well, sun or any, any star is very powerful. Mm -hmm. But when you get the burning sensation, you feel that, okay. This, so, so if you are not there, you are not feeling the sun, it's, mm -hmm. whether it's hot or cold, you don't know. Mm -hmm. So it requires substance to feel that, to get that mm -hmm. uh, energy getting incensed or manifested or whatever you say. And that brings to many, many inneural manifestations. So yeah. for manifestations, you require substance. Yeah, you do. But then there's also this, you know, if you go back to philosophy, uh, that energy going through Yantra, a machine, a me mechanism, too, mm -hmm. and so in, in, in think of a rag is is that type of a mechanism? Is that type of a a, a, a you know a sonic yantra? Yeah, of course. And yeah. the energy is going to that, and, and then absolutely, it flows in. That's a perfect way. explanation. Yeah, I think so. So, so how does that create creativity? Is it directing the flow within? You see, actually, when we are coming with many times the term creativity. What yeah. is creativity? That creates. Are we, can we get rid of this term? You know, is, is, it, is it, again, is it like I say, it's an overused term. Is it something that we have to leave out? Like, you know, the term improvisation in, 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 just in, in raga music. Is it, is it a redundant term? Because it, it, it's, it's imported from another ontology, you know? Yeah. And, and so we're going back to these terms, you know, you're talking about um, Upaj and, you know, we, we introduced the term Vistar and so many other terms that are there. And do they, is it better to look at those terms because they're within the ontology uh -huh. to help help us unpack these processes, you know? We want to call it creativity, improvise, that's nothing, but that's, you know, that's another matter. But in terms of the internal processes, the, the, the alignment with the inner, inner things happening, the energies, and then the final thing that comes out, you know, the, the, the sonic, Manifestation. Yes, yes. Of these things. And, and so then, then the third point will be that how you are perceiving the sonic manifestation. That is also there. And there can be hundred or many different ways of perceiving that manifestation. Supposing, mm. you know, even Nikhila couldn't understand Fayas Khansa that well. Yeah, there are people that couldn't understand, follow Fayas Khansa that well. But my Ustaji thought or, or Shaurida mm. thought that he was ever best musician. Mm -hmm. The same thing for any musician, most of the musicians. So, mm -hmm. so Foyas Khansa or Leo Khansa or whoever you take anybody's name, K. L. Saigal, for example. Mm -hmm. K. L. Saigal used to uh, was a great success, as I mm -hmm. told you. Mm -hmm. So, the, but how you accept that? 
Suppose the best musician, uh, best music, you think, I think it's best music, but mm -hmm. maybe, you know, the perceptor takes it in a different way. Mm -hmm. So there is nothing called good or bad. It's on how you perceive it. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing called, you know, whether something is sweet or not mm -hmm. will depend on how the person's uh, sensation of taste will, will work at that point of time. Yeah. And are there other, you know, we, you know, the sensation of, of um, you know, you might go to a program and you're in a certain state of mind and after leaving the program, you feel cleansed. There's, the energy's flowed in a certain way. It happens. So. It can flow for one month more. For it's four. A, uh, yeah. Exactly. Also, I, I tell in the, in the Ghara Majlis, you know, you know Ghara Majlis, yeah, I, I yeah. tell that, I shall take this performance as successful yeah. if the listeners who have assembled here mm. will will tell their grandchildren about this concept. Yeah, yeah. So this should be decided after thirty to fifty years. After thirty to fifty years, yeah. whether you have played well or not. Mm. Mm. Which then brings in that other element in, in this whole thing that if something is flowing, it, where is it flowing to? It may get retained too sometimes. <laughs> that is like so. So then, exactly, it can be retained sometimes. But the flow, you know, the energy is can can flow, but it can affect the the audience. Yes. And so then that opens the question of how much the audience is part of the performance and how much the audience affects it and what sort of audience. Uh, you know. Yeah, there's another question: how the audience is a part of the mm. musical happening. They, do they so, affect the energy so, level? So, so it will, well, I mean, it again, there are a few factors that will be working. First condition will be that the musician, now if I never saw this kind of thing happen, that musician is extremely satisfied, mm. but audience didn't like that. It, it ha rarely happened. Mm -hmm. But I mean, uh, I haven't seen that as yet, that uh, the mm -hmm. musician thinks that he was at his best. Wow. Mm -hmm. uh, but he's a good musician, of course, mm -hmm. not as third rate musician. I'm not talking mm -hmm. about mediocre yeah, yeah, yeah. musicians. Yeah. I'm talking about those are already very good musicians, already I mean, many thousand people love mm -hmm. that music, mm -hmm. that kind of musicians. Mm -hmm. So supposing Nikhil thinks that, uh, okay, I, I I played Asavari so well, wow, mm -hmm. oh, I never did it like that, never mm -hmm. listened to it. Mm -hmm. And audit auditorium, full auditorium, they think that that's not true. Mm -hmm. It rarely happens. Does it happen the other way around, where the artists think I played really badly or I didn't play? Did the audience it thought it was... It sometimes happens, sometimes More happens. often, do you think? Yeah, maybe more often because, mm -hmm. that I tell you, it will not happen with the neutral audience, but audience are already biased. Uh -huh. So this will happen. Okay. Because if the person, even before going to the stage, they will clap. So, so that is a different mechanism working here, the promotion and distribution. Mm -hmm. So this is other away from music. Mm -hmm. So it, that can work. For Amzali Khan sahab, if, 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 if when he enters, or Rakir Hussain, even if, if, if they play badly, mm -hmm. about 80%, I, I can tell you a story. I mean, mm -hmm. Vikram, you know Vikram, this Bumba, mm -hmm. well, Shankar Das' yes. son. Mm -hmm. He had a concert in Durgapur, and there's one tabla player who plays with him, Dilip, Dilip Bordas, uh, Shamal the student, is a very good tabla player. This is Durgapur residence, so he went to uh, that uh, concert, and it was full, 2,000 people, mm -hmm. all full. Mm -hmm. And two, three days, he also, uh, he also works with Ramindra Bharati, he came there by Sanjada. It was so lousy, so bad, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Then I asked you, what was the audience reaction? Mm. Well, they loved it. Well, if there are only five people like you, well, Bumba doesn't care. Mm -hmm. Whatever he played, mm. people accepted. So if there are 2,000 two audience, if there's uh, 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 1,990 people, if they take the, it as very good, mm. good. Mm. What is wrong in that? Mm. It hardly matters. So. Bumba also, also, also possibly he knew that what he play, played. 
because he is a good tabla player and uh, he has mm -hmm. good understanding. Mm -hmm. But audience is not there. So mm. that is possible, but not the other way around, I, I, I don't know, I never know. Mm -hmm. mm. well, when the audience is a receptive audience, of course, if they are totally against you, for example, then there might be a problem. Mm. Mm. But then if you've got an audience in a small context, a small setting, and the audience is responding either verbally or physically or somehow with their energies to the phrases, and then that creates an, another energy. A, 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 this a, is this ideal thing. This should a, happen. A feed, a feed, like a loop, isn't it? It's like having a conversation rather yes. than just sort of you know, reciting a monologue. Mm -hmm. Monologue is very bad. It has to be, you know, because the music is not one-sided. Mm -hmm. It's not only from the stage. Mm -hmm. It's on the stage and also who's listening to it. So if music is both-sided, you know, mm -hmm. they will, the audience will listen silent and will make the music silently. And the the persons on stage will be making a you know, listenable thing, you know, some some music. So so it has to be both ways. Otherwise, the music will be failure. That is why music failed. Yeah. Fails most of the times. Music fails because audience don't sing with the musician. Mm. Mm. So this is why having you know. A, a, Baitak or you know in an intimate setting adds to the creative process of the musician of the performer does it add to the creative experience of the of the listener both are true I mean I, mean, uh, I think that in the intimate everyone says even Ghulam Ali Khan Sahib used to say that Gharwa Majlis you know this kind of thing in the way he can be creative or mm -hmm. good it cannot happen in, in larger matters Mm -hmm. And that is very common, you know, common from the uh, musicians. And they used to say that my finest music came out in the uh, mm -hmm. close encounters with the musicians, uh, with the listeners. With listeners. So, uh, what happens, you know, when you are in, in a close sitting position where the mm -hmm. musician is close to you, uh, you also, that the listeners also feel themselves intimate with the musician, and yeah. the musician also can feel the, the listeners. So, if the musician is good, and the listeners are sympathetic, I would say. Sympathetic mm -hmm. is ready to mm -hmm. uh, sympathetically vibrate with the musician. That's only one thing that is, I, I think, required uh, to be a, a communicable music successful, that can communicate mm -hmm. successful. You don't require any formal uh, introduction or anything. Only mm. thing is that you have to open to the music. I don't mind. I listen to pop, mm. but I don't mind listening to, you know, Drupal. Mm. Mm. So, so it's open mind. And if the mind is open, then the chance is that is the Drupadiya is good. And that can, and Drupadiya can uh, create a good level of aesthetics. That can be accepted by the you know listeners of Drupad music, and if they say that oh, once a lifetime performance I listen, mm -hmm. then I think those people, those who listen to pop and never listen to Drupad, will be influenced. May not be influenced as them, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. because there's a new new, but somewhat into in some way they will be influenced, and that is the output of the Gharwa Muji I told you for the last Gharwa Muji was yeah. superb. Yeah, absolutely. So you know. Some people, um, some people have talked about. It's not just in music, but it could be in a sporting stadium where the audience become unified. Is yes, like yes, a sports. unified whole. So it, it's not necessarily the case. It has to be small and intimate. Like sometimes in a huge, big hall, with, the music is so the energy is so powerful that it can bring the whole audience together. You know. Yeah. Um, and I, I think you know, in the past it was more, maybe more prominent. I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking with. People are talking in concerts these days and looking at phones and devices and recording, things like that. Maybe, you know, the possibility of that unified field is, is dissipating a little bit because of the way that society has changed. But, but, but in, the, in the intimate uh, environment, there's more of a possibility of that unification. Do you think the potential is greater in the smaller? Now you see, well, you can't change the time. Mm. 
Number one. Yeah, exactly. So you have to go with the time. Exactly. And we have different habit system, I would say, practices. Uh, we, have, we have different practices. We use our mobile phones a lot. And mm -hmm. that's, a, in fact, in, and then one way is helping us. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and second is, so you can't change the audiences mm -hmm. that way. Mm -hmm. Second is, who's performing, how he, who, not who is performing, the level of performance, how mm -hmm. That musicians is at all. Supposing he puts it on the mobile phone, mm. will will that person be charmed with the music? The, yeah. I yeah. have great questions about the music also. Yeah, yeah. The musicians level also, or musicians' ability to communicate with the audiences. I have yeah. extreme doubts about most of on most of the musicians. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They we only want you know their prestige and their yeah. this and blah blah blah. I don't. Yeah. Yeah. There's no point talking on that. But but I have great concern about the musician's ability and their intentions you know how how eager they are to impress the people uh, they wish to impress the people but how much thoughts they're putting on it yeah yeah and so you know just to to bring it back to the beginning again so that and that affects the energy which then affects the flow which then affects the creative process um and so to sort of tie the pieces together you know from what i'm hearing is that there's many different components there's ingredients that you that we use you know the sonic ingredients there's intangible ingredients or, 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 or uh, relationship, yeah, yeah. relationships that are played with there's an intangible energy that flows through this. Mm -hmm. There's a, a type of sonic structure, or yantra, or yes. what, if you want to put it, that's going on. There's a, a feedback loop with the audience as well that affects the whole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That whole, has to be like the that. whole thing. Uh -huh. There's an effective thing where th there's a the flavor, the things that you can't put your finger on, you can't measure, which is ultimately probably the most meaningful. Thing that you take away yes. and, if, and as you say what if you're going to mention it to your grandchildren you're going to be talking about the effect that it had on not not the patterns that have been formed you know yeah yeah so so in a sense you know it opens up this whole performance this artistic the the the, the magic of, of of music and so to to cram all that into this one term creativity it seems to be doing it an injustice in a way that maybe we, as you say we need a, a wider vocabulary and a wider set yes, of terms sure and internal external tangible intangible to to try and um, uh, somehow describe this magic which Absolutely, is, indescri yes, which is yes. indescribable yes yeah good talking to you nice <laughs> to do <laughs> Take care. To be continued. <laughs> <laughs>